Hey guys, welcome to SS Unit Tip. So stay in this side, and this is continuation of SSIS tutorial. So today we gonna to discuss about union oil transformation and what are the difference between union oil and mulch transformation. So let's start with union oil. So what is union oil transformation? So union oil transformation in SSIS is used to combine data from multiple sources, and that source could be Excel files, flat file, or anything else, or multiple SQL Server tables, and produce one output that could be stored in your destination table. Next is union all transformation doesn't follow any specific order while merging the data and sorting into all destinations. So when we mainly use union all transformation, if the transformation input is not sorted, as we have discussed in our last video, and we have seen that. Much transformation needs data sorted before using it. Next is combined output doesn't need to be sorted. And next is when we are having more than two inputs, then we cannot use much transformation. We have to use the union all transformation. So these are the cases where we need to use our union all transformation. This is our case study. As we can see, we have three input sheets. First sheet. Contain the information of male, second female, and third unknown. So by using union all transformation, we want to merge data between three sheets, and then we want to load in our OLEDB destination. So let's have a look of Excel sheets. So this is our female employee sheet. As we can see, it has four columns: employee ID, name, gender, and salary. Next is for male employee. Again, we are having same number of columns. Now, unknown employee. As we can see, we have employee ID, name, gender, and salary. So all three sheets contain same number of columns, and data types are also same. As you can see, in case of employee ID, we have integer. In case of name, we have string data. In case of gender, again we have string data, and in case of salary, we have integer data. Now let's have a look of SQL Server table. Where we want to load the data. So this is our table. As we can see, it has employee ID, name, gender, and salary. So it has total four columns. So now I am going to SSDT to implement this package. So here I want to create one more package. So right click on this SSIS package and new SSIS package. Then I want to rename this package with union all. So this is our union all. Now. We have to use data flow task inside the control flow panel. So let's drag and drop this data flow task. Then double click on this data flow task. Once we double click on this data flow task, then it will move to data flow panel. Inside this data flow panel, we have to configure our source transformation and destination. As discussed, we have Excel file, so we have to use Excel source. Let's drag and drop three Excel source. First is for male, then female, and then and rename this with male. Rename this with female, and this is for unknown. So we can rename it. So I wanna set up our source for mail. So double click on this mail. Then, as we can see, Excel source editor window has been opened. So click on new. So here we need to select our Excel file path. So we can browse and go to inside union all. And then I'm going to select mail. Then open. So first row has column names. We are okay with it. Click on OK. Here we need to select our sheet where data is available. So data is available in our sheet one. So we have to select sheet one. Then go to one column. So inside this column, we want all the columns. So we can click on OK. So as you can see, error has gone. Now double click on this female employee. We need to select our female employee sheet. So this is our female employee sheet. Click on OK. Now here we need to select our Excel file. So sheet one contains the data. So one columns. Click on OK. Now we need to configure for unknown employees. Here we can click on New. Then select our unknown employee sheet and click on OK. Then OK. Here again we need to select our sheet. So sheet one contains the information, so we need to select sheet two. Then go to on columns. Inside this column, as we can see, 
employee ID, name, gender, and salary. So we can click on OK. So we have done our source. Now we need to configure our transformation. So our transformation is union all transformation. So we can use union all. Drag and drop this union all transformation. Then we need to connect with male, then female, and then unknown. Now double click on this union all. As we can see, output column names, employee ID, name, gender, and salary. Union all column, then union all two, then union all three. So we are getting the inputs. Now we need to set up our destination. So our destination is equal to our table. So we have to use LADB destination. So we can drag and drop this LADB destination and connect with union on. Then double click on this LADB destination. Here we need to set up our LADB correction manager. So click on new. Once we click on new, then we can see we have made the connection. So I am going to use that one. Here we need to select our table. So our table name is union all table. So we can select union all table. Now go to on mapping. So inside this mapping, mapping succeed. So we need to click on OK. Once we click on OK, then go to on SSMS. Now I'm going to execute. Then we can see initially we don't have any data. Now I'm going to execute this package. Then we can see 19,951 rows should be inserted in our table. Now go to on SSMS and execute our selected statement. 19,951 records have been inserted successfully. So next is, what are the difference between union all and merge transformation? So first is union all. So data should be sorted order before applying merge transformation. In case of union all transformation, there is no need to be sorted data before applying union all transformation. Next is output data could be sorted in case of merge transformation and output data will not be sorted in case of union all transformation. Next is, as we have discussed, merge transformation can accept only two inputs. And in case of union all transformation, we can use more than two inputs. Next is, it's bad for performance because it accepts only sorted data. And in case of union all transformation, it's good for the performance as compared to merge transformation because there is no need to be sorted input. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. And press bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos.